When your family left the White House in 2000, was there a sense of, I can't believe we're leaving this place, or was there a sense of someone saying, we'll be back? <laughs> uh, don't be too sad. We'll be back one day. Uh, I, no. Okay. I, I don't remember that at all. Um, <laughs> admittedly, it was in the middle of my senior year at Stanford, so I think I was just ready. Oh, Stanford, yeah. There you go. Yeah. The Cardinal Red, an yeah. accident. Um, <laughs> I think I was just really excited to go back to college. Sure. Admittedly. Yeah, college does seem like it might be more fun than living in the White House, which is a strange thing to say, but. But when you're 20 years old, probably yeah. not surprising. Now, I want to ask about this too, because, uh, you know, this campaign that is currently happening is starting to get, I feel like we're entering the phase of these campaigns that become a bit personal. Uh, certainly this last week, we've seen some of the more brutal attacks from uh, the other side. Yeah, you f must feel like your family's been attacked for so long. Are you, uh, do you feel numb to it now, or is it still hard to watch and listen to? Well, I don't remember a time in my life when my family wasn't being attacked. Mm -hmm. um, and what feels different about this election to me is I just don't remember a time when so many Americans were being attacked by a major party's presidential nominee. I mean, the, the attacks against women, against immigrants, against minorities, against our LGBT community, mm -hmm. against Americans with disabilities, against a gold star family. I mean... Late night hosts, a couple of them have taken you pretty know, hard. Yeah. I mean, really, you're just yeah. in the crosshairs every yeah, day. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So thank you thank for doing you. that. I'm uh, one of the heroes. Thank you. Uh, well, can, probably uh, if someone else were sitting here, uh, he might say that you're really demonstrating courage. Okay, yes, exactly, exactly. Um, so to me, that's what feels so different mm -hmm. um, and, and deeply troubling, candidly. So you're going through this again. Another thing, uh, which we've actually talked about uh, before, uh, another thing that I, I feel sympathy for you, which is uh, I was also a child of the 90s, and I, when I look back at the way I dressed in 1992, I'm so psyched I wasn't a public figure. Um, <laughs> Uh, and, and I'm jealous that you're yeah. not. Because, yes. uh, let's be honest, like right now, you're fitting in perfectly. This look is fantastic. Uh, but, it was really rough in the 90s. It was rough in the 90s. It was rough, it was in, the rough in the 90s for all of us. So. Um, something I was actually thinking about today, because uh, it's now October, and my daughter's really excited about Halloween and getting to dress up, is I remember convincing my mother to let me put on the orange and black rubber bands on my braces. Yeah. <laughs> and her actually you know, trying to tell me, like, I wasn't going to be back in the orthodontist for weeks. Like, so, <laughs> although maybe that was a fun thing to do for Halloween, it was probably going to be a decision I regretted. And sure enough, like, November 1st, I was like, Mom, can we go back to the orthodontist? And she was like, no, we cannot. So, so not only are my 90s fashion uh, expressions uh, misguided uh, foibles, uh, recorded for eternity, so too are my braces colors. Yeah, there you which go. Which is also just really but sad. But look, it shows hey. you really love and are enthusiastic about the holidays, which I think yes. says a lot about you. Thank you. So you hopefully mentioned... my children will feel the same way. Exactly. And you mentioned your, uh, so your daughter is two. Yes. And uh, you read, is it true that you read the newspaper to her every day? I read the headlines to her and to her little brother, Aiden, who's three and a half months. Three and a half months. Gotcha. And is that is something that how your parents did for you, yes? So it is. Um, the first thing I remember learning how to read is the newspaper. Okay. And we would talk about kind of what I was reading over breakfast or over dinner. And so I hope to have that same tradition with my children. And I realize they don't quite understand what I'm talking about. But <laughs> hopefully uh, it'll just be part of their lives so that when they do understand, they will have opinions. And I'm just so excited to learn what they're going to be most curious about, interested in, and angry about do, the world. Uh, do you, are there some headlines with, based on the fact how much their grandmother is in the news, you think, I might leave that one out, I might skip that one? Well, I, I don't read the things that uh, I don't think children should be hearing. Gotcha, that's cool. Of, of any age. Well, then, then that is so, uh, probably, yeah, yeah. With the newspaper, you're probably like page one, two, late 19, 20, there we go, 25. Yeah, so there is that's definitely like selective. Yeah. Oh, there's reading. a new uh, train line. Let's redo this one. So.